and welcome back to my channel from me and Parsha. Do you want to go down now or are you alright sitting here? I think you're okay. A uh, couple of things, sorry I haven't been uploading as frequently as usual. It's all down to the fact that I have had no inspiration, no motivation, I've been in a rut. But I was watching one of my old YouTubers back when she had uh, 3,000 subscribers and it really motivated me and inspired me and made me feel like the videos I upload aren't complete garbage because I'm used to watching YouTubers that are just like pff, celebrities so that, that was really nice. And so I am motivated, I am here and secondly, uh, apologies if the lighting's a bit funny. Um, the clocks haven't went back yet, but we are getting to that time where it gets darker earlier, plus it is a very windy, rainy day. I'm not complaining, I can't remember the last time where the wind was so powerful it like smacked the rain off the, the windows, so I'm quite enjoying it. Give it a few months and I'll be like, <laughs> So, I'm going to do my September favourites. Some of these favourites, um, were from July so I did go through and update it and keep the ones that I felt relative. Of course, parsnips are favourite every month aren't you? Yes. Um, so the first couple of favourites I want to talk about are things I've been listening to and watching. Uh, first of all, the television programme Sex Education, so season 3 of Sex Education came out uh, I'm filming this on Monday, so it wasn't Friday just past it, it was the Friday before, <laughs> but you could be watching this in 2025 for all I know. Um, when I tell people, you know, what TV program are you watching, Sex Education, for some reason people that aren't familiar with it think it's like a literal a sex education documentary. No, 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 no. It's all about teenagers in high school and the main character's mum is a sex and relationship therapist and it's about teenage angst and the changes your body goes through but it's not like just about that, it's the relationships in the TV programme and the reason why I love it. It's audio descriptive for one thing. It does have swearing, sexual content, uh, talks about drugs, uh, abortion, so lots of controversial topics, which is why I love it. I love this program because it talks about controversial topics. Do you want down? You're just moving. It talks about controversial topics that a lot of people in this day and age shy away from, which I think is fantastic. So, you know, it's got. Um, it talks about pansexuality, asexuality, uh, it talks about you know gay relationships and queer and transgender. I just think it's a great, it covers every single minority group that you could possibly think of and the characters are just fantastic. You want down, okay. My favourite character is uh, Amy, she's the one that I personally like feel connected to the most, she's the most like me. But you can guarantee watching Sex Education that there will be a character in it that you will identify with a lot. So it was Amy for me. Fantastic television programme, probably one of my favourites. Second thing is BBC Radio 2. You know, call me old, but I've really been enjoying it. Uh, we listen to it in the office at work and I just like it because I like Clyde One and Heart and all the other radio stations, but they do play the same music all the time. I'm sick of hearing Ed Sheeran. <laughs> and uh, I like a little bit more conversation. And I don't like uh, BBC Radio One Scotland because they talk, it's too much po politics, too much news, and it's just the stories that they talk about don't interest me. But Radio 2, I just, I love the music and I love the chat. Like on Sunday, they were talking about, like, you know, little wins that you've experienced. An example of one was, you know, when it's the morning and you go down the stairs to make yourself a cup of tea and you have the perfect amount of water for a cup of tea and you don't have to refill the kettle. Also, comment down below, please tell me any little wins you've had this week. Um, I'd really like to hear them. But uh, yeah, I've really been enjoying it. And it talks about uh, news things as well. But I don't know, I just, I've been really enjoying listening to it. So, let's go on to the physical things I can actually show you. Um, 
you have probably seen these on my vlogs and um, me talking about it, but this is my, I call it my tea flask, you can put anything that you want. This is my blue one, the first one I got, and it says on it something like life is sweeter with strawberries or something about life being sweet and strawberries, I can't remember, I've definitely shown this in a vlog though. And I've got my teddy bear one as well, and I loved it using these and taking them to work you know I have one filled with my cold brew one filled with my tea and I love them because even though I'll make my tea at like half 10 in the morning by the time I go to drink it about half 12 it's still really warm and I just I'm just I'm really late to the flask game but it's also these flasks are like super cute and kawaii which I'm all about right now so really loving them they've been a big staple for work Keeping on the tea theme, I have a new tea to show you guys. So remember in, it might have been my Burden Blend tea haul, but I definitely spoke about my all time favourite green tea with the cherry green tea I got down in the oven, the Overton Farm Cafe. I love that cafe. I went down a couple of weeks ago and I said to them, you know, where do you get this tea? Do you sell this tea? Because you guys know how much I adore that tea. And they're like, oh yeah, we sell it in the farm shop. And I was just like, oh! So I got myself a bag and it's Brodie's. It's not like cherry green tea. It's Japanese cherry blossom green tea. So it's not what you're thinking, like cherries. It's like, But it's, it's so light and fragrant and sweet, but not like, cake sweet, you know what I mean, it's just, it's beautiful because I always say to people the biggest misconception about green teas is a lot of people think they're bitter. This green tea doesn't have to be bitter as long as you don't brew them for any longer than three minutes and you make sure that the water is 80 degrees because boiling water will kill a lot of the, the leaves. And if you can't, if you don't know the exact temperature of your kettle, then do what I do sometimes, you know, fill your cup up 70% with hot water and then fill up the rest with colder water. And, oh, it's just the best tea ever and I love it so much. I definitely, I've, I mean, I've got enough to do me for a while, but I'll, I'll buy this till the end of time. <laughs> hair in my mouth parsing it. Yes I do. Yes I do. Are you just chilling on the floor beside me? Yeah. The next two things I have are food items because it wouldn't be a favourite if I didn't talk about food. Uh, the first one I'll talk about I can't actually show you so my boyfriend introduced me to and I think I've spoke about them as well. You get the little mini cheese slices, the cathedral cheese slices in a net. I never knew they existed. But my mum got me a while ago little smoked applewood cheeses in a net and I loved them. And we couldn't find them, but she found an even better one. So again, it's little cheeses in a net, but they're all different types of cheeses. So the ones I've had so far have been Red Leicester. I love Red Leicester cheese, I've discovered. Edam, love Edam cheese. Bavarian, I've always loved Bavarian cheese. They're bog standard cheddar cheese and then there was a Mexican cheddar cheese because it had jalapenos through it. So it's got all these little like cheesies and uh, I just, I love it because I do like cheese but I can't eat too much of it because it makes me feel quite sick and it goes for me, it's like my very mild lactose intolerance. Um, so I can only eat wee bits of cheese at a time on their own. When they're mixed with other things, it does help. But they are just really cute and yummy and great for packed lunches for work. The other food item I have is also cheese related. I must be going in the cheese bender right now. And I have it here. I had to take them up, to, it's the last packet, I had to take them up to my room, otherwise my dad would have ate them. And I would have been like, hey guys, can't show you them, don't have any. It's, um, make sure I'm showing them the right way, this way, and then this way, it's mini cheddars. I've been wanting mini cheddars for ages and I was saying the other day to my boyfriend I'm really in the mood for them and my mum over here and she's like we've got them in the house and I was like oh great. Took them up the stairs 
And the last time I had mini cheddars, I do agree, the recipes changed. They're more like salty biscuits with a hint of cheese. But I was okay with that, and I'm like, that's, that's okay. And I opened these bad boys up, and I was like, whoa, they're fiercely cheesy. And uh, my boyfriend took the packet, and he's like, yeah, they're Red Leicester. You know, he took the packet to, to look at them. So these are Red Leicester mini cheddars. So what did I just say? I actually have just discovered how much I love Red Leicester cheese. These guys, oh my goodness, I love them. They are my, my new true loves and I'm going to marry them and we're going to live happily ever after. If you like mini cheddars, if you like cheese, what are you waiting for? Phenomenal. <laughs> the next thing I have to show you is on my phone. It's a new phone case. So it is another bunny phone case. I think a way back in February I showed you my pink bunny phone case, which is actually behind me. Uh, I washed it. But this one is a dark brown leopard print one. And uh, my line manager at work gave this to me because she ordered it. I can't remember if it was for her daughter or her granddaughter. But she ordered it for someone in her life and it didn't fit her phone and she came up to me and she was like oh I noticed in the first day of work you had a, a bunny phone case so I thought you would really like this and I was just like oh thank you thank you so much it's, wow you know I, was, I thought that was so nice and this bunny phone case is much better than my pink one because we actually have the slits at the side so that I can turn my volume up and down, mute my phone, lock my phone, whereas my pink one doesn't have the spaces for that. Plus, the it's furry and the fur is much softer. Uh, the ears and the tail feel much more secure and the phone case itself just feels much more lighter and compact. I think the tail's smaller, which is good. It can still, I will warn you, the ears and the tail can still be a bit of a pain in the backside when you're putting your phone in your, like, your jeans pocket what I tend to do is put my phone upside down so the ears go in first and the tail sticks out and we've also got the little diamonds like my pink phone surrounding the area where you take pictures and you film and what have you so I really like this one as well because it's dark it means um, if it gets dirty it won't look as dirty because my other phone's like that baby pink so I had to show it because it's like an upgrade from my bunny phone and I just thought it was really, really nice of my line manager, you know, giving it to me and, and thinking about me that I, yeah, I still can't believe, like, how nice that was. I've only been working there for just over a month and just, I love, oh, I love them all so much. The last thing I have to show you is, it's a lounge fly bag, but in general, my favourite this month has been lounge fly. So I think in one of my vlogs, I showed you my lounge fly Captain Marvel mini backpack. Well now I have a Aristocats mini bag pack so I think this bag pack is officially called Kitties on a Piano because the bag is baby pink and we've got the, the little front pocket so the little front pocket I think down here we've got the, the ginger cat and the black cat I can't remember their names the kittens from Aristocats I want to say one of them's called to be to to oh I can't remember but they're down in the little um, front pouch area and they're playing the piano and then up this whole section here this top section we've got Marie looking sassy and pretty and amazing and it's got uh, the official lounge fly Disney Aristocats emblem on the side of the bag whereas my Captain Marvel ones on the front and the top handle on the bag, the one you would uh, pick up with your hands, is a uh, piano keys, and then the back straps, the back of the bag, uh, half of them are the baby pink colour, and then the bottom bits where you would adjust the back straps are again like piano keys. So it's not all, as far as I'm aware, all lounge fly bags are full leather, so it's quite a, like the bag straps feel quite a suede material and then the bag itself does feel full leather, which does not bother me in the slightest, I do not mind. Um, and I actually got this as an anniversary present from my boyfriend because, not yet, 
but the 7th of October will mark two years that we've been together and we are big wains. Cannot wait till our anniversary to give each other our anniversary gifts. So I was actually going to wait until the 7th of October before I started using this bag because it's my current bag right now but my boyfriend kept making hints. Oh you're not, you see you haven't used my bag yet. <laughs> so. I'm using it and I just, I love it so much. It's it's the embodiment of cute, which is just all about me right now. And the last favourite I have is not a, something I can show you. It's just I've really been enjoying pole swimming and yoga. So last week was probably the best week in a while I've had sports-wise a pole. I've done fantastic. My inverts are much stronger. I was able to do two inverts completely on my own without being spotted. So definitely getting stronger, it's definitely getting there slowly, but we are. And I learned a new grip. It's called the bridge grip. So when I get much better at it, I, I'm more than happy to do more another pole move video and show you more pole moves I can do. Because I just, I love doing pole. I love doing sports. It makes me feel strong and confident and... And I think it's a really good thing for anyone with a disability to do because it, it gives you back that control and that power. It makes you feel strong and confident and independent, especially pole, like with pole. With swimming and yoga, I might need a little bit of help, but with pole, you tell me what to do and then after that's muscle memory. I don't need help. It's something I can just do completely on my own and I love that swimming as well and um, I'm getting stronger. I'm still not allowed to go twice a week because my coach says I'm still a couple of weeks behind everyone so I'm not strong yet but she says I'm almost there and on Wednesday there I just felt like we were doing sprinting and the girl I was sharing a lane with I was you know literally seconds behind her and Prior to lockdown, she was faster than me, so I feel like I've made a really good improvement at swimming and yoga. I just really enjoy yoga because it's it's good to to stretch, especially with you know my high intensity sports like my running and my swimming and everything. I think it's good to have a a stretch kind of uh, sport in there. So I've just I've really been enjoying all of them, and I want to get more workout gear. Especially, uh, I found a website called Pole Hog, and they do like pole pants and pole tops and things like that. Um, but yeah, I've just really been enjoying my sports. Unfortunately, I'm filming this on Monday, and Monday is pole day, but I'm not going to pole because somebody close to me um, has been in contact with somebody who has tested positive for Corona. So we are waiting for them to get their results back from their PCR test and I didn't, I didn't want to be that really inconsiderate selfish person even though that person might come back negative and I might, if that person comes back positive then I'll need to go and get tested but if not I just didn't want to walk into the poll and be like yeah I've been around somebody who potentially could be a carrier for Covid, I just, I didn't, I didn't want to be that person, I think that's really irresponsible. But uh, yeah, on that note, I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope uh, you haven't been struggling with the petrol shortages or any kind of shortages in the shop. Um, just stay inside, have a cup of tea, put a candle on and watch a happy film. I love you guys and I'll talk to you in another video. Bye guys! Oh, parsnip! I'm sorry, I thought you were at the door and I kicked you. Want to say bye? Bye! You don't want to be up here, do you? No, okay. <laughs>